Okay, so we're gonna work on a, on a camera tracking. So the idea, I saw someone asking for a tutorial about camera tracking on Reddit. So that's why I'm doing this one. So the idea is to stick a geometry on this cliff right next to this uh, little tower here. This is my footage. This is Malta. This is my footage. Uh, it's a drone footage. So yeah, let's let's see how we can do that. So uh, first thing is to track the camera. Right. Uh, I'm gonna put on all, even if I know, because this is a very simple uh, camera movement. So. There will be no problem to track, so let's go ahead and track this stuff. It should be fast. You know, do we have a model I got uh, online, like a free model, just to show how to stick something on a surface, on a geometry. Let's see. Ah, it's tracking the whole footage. Anyways. Should be fast, anyways. Wait, let, me, let me train this stuff then. Stop. Maybe. Let's Let's start again. Camera tracker. Let's take it here. Hello. This guy. Now it should be much more faster. Yep. That's it. Alright. Alright, so let's see the solving. There we go, I'm telling you, we can improve this guy a little bit. Let's see. The idea is to remove all the bad tracks, and then you see the new solving here. Um, yeah, so by little by little, we get rid of the points that are not helping. We have point lines that this is really, really good. So let's keep this one. And then you create all the stuff you need. Put this guy on the side, which is uh, have the lens distortion, which we will need later. Uh, uh, camera and this, and then it gives you this stuff, which is like a point cloud representation of the thing. It goes a little bit crazy on the sky, but that's fine. Uh, Point cloud generator, but this is a camera tracking point cloud. We need a real one, so camera and source. Okay. Um, oh, sequence. So it's gonna use the camera. The camera tracking and the footage to analyze the stuff, and then we can use it a little bit. And track the points. Okay, this will take a while, or maybe not so much. Let's see if it takes so too much. I'll cut. And fast forward, so we keep the video nice and, and quick. But essentially, it's 
the using the camera lab to build uh, a dense point cloud of the environment. As I said, it, it has the sky going crazy there, but we don't really care about that. We only need this little tip here. So, uh, because the idea is to stick a geometry here. So let's get our the selection. And cloud, cloud. Okay, it's here. Just a little one, so then it goes to it again. Just the tip. Then you bake this guy to a actual geometry, and you give you this stuff. Which is a geometry. Nice. So, uh, so what's happening here? So we have a geometry, we have a camera, and we give this uh, scene. Just take the geometry here. Project the the uh, plate footage itself. So we we'll use the camera. This is just to show what's going on. Drag this. Um, they do on Java, but then you can see what it's going on. Just projecting. In the background. So it's projecting the plate. All the geometry we got. And then it will be perfect. Alright. But this is where we need to stick our model and we got to one one here. This look right. Which is this? It's a little frog, frog I got from Turbo Squid. It's a free stuff I'm sure everyone knows. If I apply a basic material to it, um, I can actually. It will stick it to the transform G, we need to stick it to the diff. Anyway, it's more. Yes. And that's why it's so good to have the geometry. So you can use it as a guide. the spot where it touches the ground get inside the geometry for this case we got it So we know it's there now, we can kill the projection. Like this. And we just put it onto here. And we'll light. Right. See, it's there. Great. Uh, there's one material that we can use. It's called film art. So it will basically uh, 
not render the geometry, but the, the frog in this case will be occluded by the geometry itself. See, because it's a little bit inside, so if I get the frog here, stick it inside, like this, if I apply the fuel material, see, it will cut there. So it's very useful stuff. Uh, let me move it up a little bit again. Alright, looks like it's gonna be last name. Okay, sounds good. So, use the fuel material, so it's the alpha, it's cut. This, uh, this frog geometry I got from Tuba Squid, it comes with this material here, so kind of kind of works. Yeah. This just to make it a bit nicer. See how the jagged, so we can improve the quality here. Much nicer. Um, yeah. So we have the vectors going outside, going out, which is necessary. We need a motion blur. So let's just stick it on top of the. Okay. And the first cut I'm using is Y. If you hit Y, you connect the other node. Right. And now the little for what is sitting there. It's a very odd light, so it's a strange that makes it a little bit stronger. Okay. Basically, that's it. So we'll just make the camera tracking. Uh, you make the point cloud. There is the point cloud that comes with the scene plus from the camera tracker. But that's not what we need. This is the camera tracking point cloud. We need to build a. You can also use this one to help you, you know, to see. But this one will give you a dense point cloud. And in fact, we can actually use this little guy here to distort the footage. We'll really start. In this case, the difference will be so small that I don't even know it will, will be visible. So, this is a very, very basic setup on how to stick a geometry to to a shot using the camera, it can be very useful. You can stick a plane here to make it clean up of what's happening behind. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this, and I see a lot of people are kind of uh, lost. But this is a very easy camera for the camera tracking. I'm gonna make another one, the slightly more complicated camera. So, to help me here. I don't have any motion blur, so if I apply motion blur, uh, let's see if I'm having that as maybe forward. Yeah, okay. So light is really jumping, but that's the that's the point. So by uh, getting used to do this, you will get comfortable on uh, cleaning up shots while the camera is moving. And if you do this a lot, you uh, will be very comfortable and not afraid of shots where the camera is moving a lot and not always we will have a match move department 
give give you know, cameras and planes and locators and stuff like that. So it's very useful to know how to use. Uh, it's an introduction on how to deal with a CG camera of a 3D environment. From this, you will jump to particles and all that stuff, but you need a strong knowledge of the CG environment, how position lights, what kind of light will give you a shadow, and this, you know, this kind of stuff. Yeah, so for the next tutorial, I will, I can make a shadow match this one here. So from the, from the froggy guy, yeah. It's heavy to calculate with the motion that I can jump in. So, it's much faster than the motion that. That's it. It's a basic thing. Uh, I can get more complicated shots so we can uh, work around here. I'll just set this stuff and make it work. So this one is very, very automatic. You can for sure that's more complicated ones. As you can see, it's sticking really well, but it will stick. The error of the camera is 0.97, which is below one, so it's really good. And then after this, if you really want to pop it nicely, you can match the motion blur this guy, you can match the, the focus, and this was just a quick video of how to use the point cloud generator as a helper when you need to position geometries in your shot. And that's it. And let's hope everyone who watches this one and likes you also watch the next one. I'm starting this, this YouTube channel right now. I have a couple of videos posted there, which is just me, just without even speaking, just music and playing around. This is a nice exercise for me to, that I always do, even if I'm not recording. I always do this kind of stuff that I sit, uh, play around on weekends or evenings. So this also makes me very useful to keep myself comfortable with the software. I have a lot of client sessions and uh, interactive sessions with supervisors and production. So I'm always sharing my screen so you can see what I'm doing, how I'm doing, you know, things like that. So to keep you uh, comfortable and you know, easy and soft and creative, be able to improvise, you need to practice improvisation. And that's why I decided to start recording my exercises. A bunch of them, they don't go exactly where I am planning to, to go, but that's part of exercising. So, hope you guys like the idea. Stick for the next one.